The show's continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Harrisburg Senators and the Bowie Bay Sox. Digging in, Andrew Stevenson, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here's the one and one delivery. Slider is right there, 83 on the gun. It's one and two. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. Grounded to the right. He's got it. And there's one away. Now at the plate, you sell Antuna as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right handed pitchers. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now with the plate, Drew Mendoza. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. And that misses up and in three and one. KJ Harrison would be next. Full count now. Two out, nobody on. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Next will be the cleanup hitter, K.J. Harrison. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Outside, two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. To the plate now, Taylor Gushu. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Ready now, Richard Arena. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a liner. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gun. Now at the plate, Ryan McKenna. Nine at-bats in the series and four base hits. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Slow grounder to first. Fielded cleanly on to first, and there were two down. Into the box now, Taylor Davis. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. And standing in the outfielder, Rhett Wiseman. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Hit weakly on the ground to short. 
And no chance on the throw. So a great effort, but that'll be scored a base hit. Into the box, J.B. Shuck. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. Pass ball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping up now, Israel Pineda. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Skied into very shallow right. Diaz is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So coming to the plate, number 83. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Heading out towards shallow right. Diaz will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Cesar Avila. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Two and two the count. The pitch. Outside in a full count, three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That is it. The first baseman, Ryan. At the plate, Ryan Ripken bounced to first, right to him. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Yuzniel Diaz is the next to bat. He went deep in the contest last night. Here's the 1-1. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. The run comes across to score and they jump ahead 1 0. Settling in now, Rylan Bannon. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 1 1 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Rip down the first base line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Andrew Stevenson. Now the one and one pitch. Count still at one and two. Nope. In tight with the slider, two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And that is off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now that the book dog. Yakel Antuna. At the plate now, Yassel Antuna. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Oh. 
And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. How about it? At the plate, Drew Mendoza, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Trying to pick things up where we left bad. off. K.J. Harrison. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Line to the right side. In there. Base hit. And that ought to get the run in from third. Now battle. The designated hitter. Taylor. Gushu. In now. Taylor Gushu. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. Now back. The center fielder. Red. One. Into the box now. Rhett Wiseman. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Now in the box, Willie Yon, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hit down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The pitch. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. High in the air down the right field line. Oh, he brought it back. Now at the plate, Mason McCoy. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Bases are empty, one man out. This is line to left. So now to the plate, Richard Arena. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Ryan McKenna is on deck. Sent on the ground out to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, Ryan McKenna. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 1. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Fouled off. Here he comes again, 1 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Hit out towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, J.B. Shuck. 1-1 one, one home. Misses. Ball two. Line towards center field. McKenna is right there. One down. Digging in to try it again. Israel Pineda. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fourth inning of a 2-1 to one ball game. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now that second base. Ron. To the plate now. Number 83. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Popped him up. 
Ripken in foul ground. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Andrew Stevenson. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Scooped up, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to hit is the catcher, Taylor Davis. Here it comes on one and one. Grounded down the third baseline. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. At the plate, Cesar Avila. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Two and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ryan Ripken. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ripken. Lifted down the line in left. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Gisel Antuna. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Riding in once again, Drew Mendoza comes into this at bat. 0 for 1 in the ball game. In the air, down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. How about it? The first so stepping in, KJ Harrison. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Two balls and two strikes now. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Now that Next will be the designated hitter, Taylor Gushu. Man at first after the two-out walk. The one-one is looked at for ball number two. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Yusniel Diaz picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2. Two -two. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Now 
The second baseman. Into the box, Ryland Bannon. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody now out. The third at the plate, Willie Young. Yeah. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now a flare out toward right center. And nobody can get there in time. Base hit. Now the relay home. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Now at the plate now, Mason McCoy. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Wiseman is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in the switch hitter, Richard Arena. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Oh, my God. Right there at the belt. One and two now. Bannon at second. Jan at first. One gone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. Oh, and he can't come up with it. He'll come home with it. And he will beat the throw home. It's a four to one score now. Kyle McGowan takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. In now, Ryan McKenna. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Grounder down the line at third. One there. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Reed Love please. takes over to start the sixth Alfred. inning on the mound. Number 19. Three. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next it'll be the outfielder, Rhett Wiseman. Now the 2-1. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And it's up to a three two full count now. Sent out to straightaway center field. McKenna is camped under this one, and he's got it for the first out. Now Coming back. to the plate now, J.B. Shuck, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. McKenna is there, two gone. Riding into the box, Israel Pineda. He singled his last time up. Pineda. A 1-1. One, one. Outside, that's a ball. Both teams with six hits so far. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Now that the second baseman. Ron. At the plate, number 83. Here's a pop-up now. Davis waits on it. 
He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Standing in, Taylor Davis. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hit on the ground is short. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Striding in, Caesar Avila. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. So striding forward now, Ryan Ripken. A hit in two tries so far. Here it comes. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Usniel Diaz would be next. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a two out single. Great job there of cashing in on the three and one count to extend the inning. Standing in now, Usniel Diaz. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Swing and there it goes deep to left field and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed. To the plate now Ryland Bannon. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Line drive to left. Stevenson is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Andrew Stevenson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Inside, ball two. up I hop and he bare hands it in time and that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base stepping in you sell Antuna he was retired via the ground ball last time up the three two pitch and he loses him on a breaking ball stepping in drew Mendoza he got called out on strikes his last time through you know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. The one-two. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Now batter. So now it'll be the four hole hitter KJ Harrison. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Shin high that's taken for a ball. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field a ball that's carrying on the warning track he makes the catch. Ryan Brindley gets the call from now the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ryan. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Willie Yon. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And it's up to a three two full count now. Full count. 
And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. The batter. Coming to the plate now, Mason McCoy. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Chuck will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The designated hitter, number nine. Striding forward now is the D.H. Richard Arena singled home a run in his last time up. line that's a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now now batter better fielder Ryan. stepping in now Ryan McKenna well below the knees laid off on the change up there and when you're already down five the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound that's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing the three and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup, or do you stay with the heater? Heading out towards shallow right. Chuck will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Into the box now, now Taylor batter. Davis. That's two right. outs and two runners Taylor. aboard here in the seventh inning. Davis. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Two men are on with two men out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Jake Flaw has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Taylor Gushu will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. A 1-1. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. A dive, but it's off his glove. The center fielder, number eight, Red Wiseman. Into the box, Red Wiseman. Popped him up. Davis is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready now once back. again, J.B. Shuck. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. On a line to shortstop. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. Standing in Israel Pineda. He's two for three thus far. Pineda. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. The batter, the second baseman, Rod Hill. Into the box now, number 83. And this is hit high in the air and crossing into foul ground behind third. Jan is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Andrew Isler is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 28, Andrew 
Digging in once again, Cesar Avila. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Full count, 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. Hard hit ball to second. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now batting the first baseman. Royal. At the plate, no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Isler has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now batter, right fielder. And now Yusniel Diaz. And he misses two and one. A runner at second, nobody out. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And a relay home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. To the plate now, Ryland Bannon. On a rope to the second baseman. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Now batter. Into the box. Billy Yon. A hit in two tries for him so far. A 1-1. One, one. This is line to left. Stevenson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Ready for another shot now. Mason now McCoy. He homered That's back in the job. third inning in this one. Mason. And it's fouled away. The one two. Misses for the second ball. High in the air out to center field. Wiseman is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Andrew Stevenson. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Yasel Antuna waits on deck. And it's up to a three two full count now. And he popped him up. Jan into shallow left. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now, now batting, you sell Antuna. He could really Yuck use ball. a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's 1 and 2. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Scooped up. On to first. And they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now batter. Third base. Stepping up to the plate. Ooh. Drew Mendoza. No hits Mendoza. in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hey. Taken called strike two. And now they're down to their final strike tonight. 
I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Eight to one is the final tonight. The Bay Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Cody Sedlock with his fourth win this season. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.